Hello guys, welcome to my channel Forensics and Page Dr. Rupesh and today we are going to discuss about a very hot topic of the day that is black box. So what is this black box which is fitted into the aircraft or the chopper? So guys, you must have seen the black box fitted in the aircraft which is orange color hard metal box. Now why this box is made up of this hard metal which is very much clear that even if it is falling from such a height, such a great height, it does not crash. So this is a hardened steel box in which there is a chip inside. So basically black box is having two parts. One is the FDR which is flight data recorder and other one is the CVR which is cockpit voice recorder. So flight data recorder can record audio up to the 25 hours and then the CVR cockpit voice recorder there are two types of cockpit voice recorder which can record the voice in the cockpit so there are three port of the voice recorder one inside the cockpit and one outside the cockpit in the passenger area which can record the voice up to two to four hours so basically the CVR which are commonly used can record the voice up to two hours only the first prototype of the FDR was made in 1956 by Sir David Warren who was an aeronautical engineer and a researcher in Australia. Now as I told you when you will see inside the black box, so the color is not black. If you will see if you are looking at the black box, why this is black box? Is there something which is hidden inside is black? No, it is not the same. The very first black box which was made it was black from outside but after that it was very hard to find it out in a plane crash or when in the emergencies when the black box has been dumped into the water sea water or ocean water or any dense forest area so what they have started painting it orange a luminant orange color you might have seen on the traffic guards or on the traffic police or uh, in other areas the luminant orange color which glows up with the light when you portray light over the such luminant orange colors they will glow up and you can easily find it out even during the plane crash if there is a burning if there is a severe burning if the uh, the debris has been burned out even then this orange color will let you know to identify that where the black box is located so what does it record actually it record what is happening inside the cockpit you can say the conversation which is happening within the pilot and the co-pilot and the other crew members as well as the conversation with the radar system or with the people sitting on the ground and regulating or controlling the system. So it records each and everything what is going in and around and sometimes the black box is also used for analyzing the data which has been recorded backhand means you can't see them as the main recording or the major recording but at the back of it you can see the engine noise of which has been recorded in the black box and identify that whether the engine was working well or not so most of the FDRs if you will see the FDRs flight data recorder they record the time the timelines what is happening at what time they record the pressure altitude they record the air speed they record the they record the fuel flow and of course even the pedal positions so it records each and everything so it becomes a major component of a plane crash investigation so what actually happens you must have seen the headset the big headset uh, over the ears of the pilot and the other crew members sometime so it records it goes through whatever is being spoken it everything goes through the black box and it being recorded a copy is being recorded and the other copy is being sent to the control system at the ground now previously if you will see uh, in the historic times not I will say historic but uh, say just 15-20 years back there were the use of magnetic tapes you must have seen the cassettes the audio cassette the same magnetic tape was used to record this data and as the technology have increased then now they use the solid state drive SSD you must have heard the SSD in your computer systems in your PCs it is resistant or more resistant towards heat and air pressure in comparison to the magnetic tapes so it is the best technology nowadays we use SSD in the black boxes now there is also a component of the battery we can see the power supply because it requires a continuous power supply so once it is attached to the aircraft it is being charged 
or it is being controlled by the electricity being provided uh, within the aircraft. And once it is detached to the aircraft after the plane crash or after a sudden incident, what happens? The charged battery keep it alive for several days. Now, usually these black box cost somewhere around 10,000 USD to 15,000 USD. Then there is the underwater locator beacon, ULB, which is there. Now, when the black box coincidentally goes into the water, so what happens? There is a continuous beep which comes out and these beeps give the vibration inside the water with the flow of the current and then you can identify that where the black box is. And you will be astonished to know that it can sound, the beep sound can come from the 14,000 feet down in the sea as well. So you can hear the sound at 37.5 kilohertz frequency and it is quite enough, quite sufficient to be heard by the instrument to the other instrument, other identifier instrument which can easily identify that where the black box is located. But there are incidents, there are instances where we have seen in the MH370 Malaysian Airlines that we were unable, the investigators were unable to identify and to find out that where the black box is. So every technology is having its own limitations. In some literature it has been recorded or it has been literature that the beep sound can go somewhere around till 30 days and one beep per second till 30 days. Now you can imagine how much is the battery life of this ULB and once it is identified then what is being done the black box is cut down with the electric saw and the component the SSD is being taken out and everything in the FDR and the CVR is being analyzed for further investigation purposes because this is a crash survival memory unit so what we can say that C SMUs so it is one of the crash survival memory unit so it is one of the thing which is found almost in all the plane crashes and it can be easily identified and analyzed so whatever the kind of crash it is or whatever the kind of disaster it is whether it is a plane crash whether it is a fire whether it is submerging into the water or whether it is the salt water submission so it survives all of them and it is really a very helpful unit in the aircraft or in a helicopter so guys i hope you all have liked this video so please do subscribe my channel for further videos on forensic science and investigations